Composer Home Edition, or Composer HE, is for users who want to modify some settings that shouldn't require an installer. Composer HE, which runs in Windows, makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with a button tap, and more. If you haven't done so yet, please view the Composer HE features and overview and Composer HE basics videos before you use Composer HE. As a precaution, Composer HE lets you change some settings in your system, but it does involve some risk for which you must assume responsibility. There's a chance you could disable your system if you change some settings or program your devices incorrectly. If this happens, contact your dealer. This video assumes that Composer HE is installed on your computer. If not, check with your dealer or see Composer HE Getting Started on the Control 4 Owners website. With Composer HE open, I'll click on the Agents button to open the Agents view. Before you work with Agents, you'll need to add these agents to your project. Just click Add in the Agents pane, select the agent to add, and then click OK. In this video, I've already added agents to my project. As you can see, they both appear in the Agents pane just below the Add button. You only add agents you'll be using in your programs. If you're no longer using that agent, you can click the Remove button to move the agent back to the Add list. You can use the Intercom agent to set up an Intercom group, exclude Intercom from supported devices, set Do Not Disturb, set Auto Answer, set to Send a Video, set to Monitor a Room, program the porch light to go on and off when the doorbell button is pressed on the door station, and more. Some of the settings in Composer HE can also be done on your device. Now let's configure the agent. I have several intercom devices in my home that I'd like to group together. This makes it easy when I want to send a broadcast to all of the devices in that group. To do this, I'll click on the intercom agent in the list and then click New. In the box, I'll name the group, second floor, and click Create. Now I'll go up to the top pane in Group Properties, select a device, and click Add to move it to the right pane. If you want to remove a group, simply select the group in the Groups pane under Agents and click Delete. There are several properties you can set in the intercom agent for each device in the Intercom Devices tab. Check Exclude from Navigator when you don't want the settings in the list enabled. This setting is useful for broadcasts. Check Ringtone on Doorbell when you want to hear the doorbell's ringtone on an intercom device. This requires you to have a Control 4 door station, however. Check Do Not Disturb when you want all calls to be blocked for that device. The caller's touch screen will display a Do Not Disturb or Station Busy message if a call tries to come through. Check Auto Answer to receive a ring and the caller's voice on this device. Note that Send Video is not supported on 5 or 7 inch in-wall touch screens. This setting lets the caller send a ringtone, video, and audio to this device. Check Monitor Mode if you want to monitor the audio and video activities in the room where the device is. This is a great way to check on sleeping babies or the kids without disturbing them or letting them know that they're being monitored. If I want to change the order of the devices in my group, I simply click the Change Order button and move the devices up and down in the list. I'll just briefly mention that the SIP Proxy tab is used for SIP external PBX services in apartment buildings and other multi-dwelling structures. So in this case, you won't need to do anything in this tab. Check with your dealer for details. For more information about how to use the agents or intercom, refer to the Composer HE user guide or system user guide on the owner's website at control4.com. Now I'll click on the programming button and then show you how to create a simple program that will notify an intercom device and turn on the front porch light when someone presses the doorbell on an exterior door station. In the Device Events pane on the left side, I'm going to select the door station. I'll scroll down, select button 1, and check Pressed. The statement when entry way door station button is pressed appears in the script pane. The next few steps involve adding actions. 
So I'll go over to the Device Actions pane and select what I want the system to do. I want the touch screen in the family room to call the door station when the door station button is pressed. I also want the front porch light to come on so I can see who's at the front door. First, I'll scroll down and select the portable 7 inch touchscreen. At the bottom under intercom, I'll select regular call and the entryway door station. I'll drag the start a call from family room portable 7 inch touchscreen to entryway door station to the script pane. Now I want to turn on the front porch light, so I'll select the front porch light in the actions pane. I'll go down to the Commands tab, select On, and drag the script, turn on the entryway front porch to the script pane. Here's a tip. If you have a motion sensor outside your front door, you can program the front porch light to turn off when the motion sensor no longer senses motion. Or you can have the front porch light go off after 15 minutes. You can use the timer agent to do that. There are many other things you can do, too. Now it's your turn to add the intercom devices to your programs. If you make a mistake, you can always delete script lines, choose not to back up your project, or not save the Composer HE session with the program you've created. Be aware, however, if you do this, any changes you've made will not be saved.